Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So in today's video, we're gonna start in the one hour time frame because the one hour currently is back in an uptrend. So it looks like that we could be in here for a nice breather towards 55 to 58 thousand dollar to retest this resistance area up here. And then of course we need to see what will happen because once we are approaching this resistance up here, of course, we have the chance to break through, but also the likelihood of getting rejected here is currently also very high. So in the one hour time frame, currently, it looks again more bullish. We are probably going to see follow through during the whole day towards uh, this uh, $54,000 to $56,000 resistance. Those are the two important moving averages here to watch in the one hour time frame. One is here, the 100 and here, of course, the 200 moving average. This is where I'm expecting some resistance to come if we are able to break here above $54,000 because this is currently this previous Fibonacci retracement level that held as support and now of course it could be a new resistance right here at $54,000. So if we are able to break above this new resistance then we have the chance to go here to retest this previous resistance which is currently at around $56,000. So in the one hour time frame it looks like that we could be in a potential continuation here towards this resistance up here. Money flow is still negative and also we are getting a sell signal right now here in the one hour time frame. So it is possible that we're going to move sideways or maybe even go down to retest the bottom of the EMAs here at around $53,000. But overall, it looks like that we could have the chance now to go higher. And if we're getting already here rejected, then I think that we will most likely also create lower lows here during the day. So most likely we are going even below $50,000. But as I told you, my friends, the one hour is back in an uptrend. We just have to maintain now these supports that we have from the EMA ribbons. And if we go over into the four hour time frame, you can see that not only here we are having some resistance because of this Fibonacci retracement, but also because of the 20 moving average, which is also exactly here lining up. And Bitcoin can only go back into an uptrend in the four hour time frame once we're closing again candles above the 20 moving average here in the four hour time frame. So currently, as you can see, we're getting supported by the 200 moving average, but we have resistance at the 20. So as soon as we have a four hour close below or above this important moving average, I think this will lead the way where we're gonna head to next year in the next coming hours, maybe also during the weekend. Because as soon as we can get back above the EMA ribbons, I'm pretty confident that here we have the chance then to break this resistance that we still have here at around $58,000. But if here we're gonna continue to get rejected from the EMA ribbons like we had already twice here, I'm expecting here continuation to the downside, potentially to reach finally our bearish targets here. And the last support that Bitcoin needs to hold in order to not go lower is here the $49,400, the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. So it is possible that during the month of March, we're gonna see here some more moves to the downside, but I think that April and May are going to be very bullish months because also in the past, usually April and May was always very bullish for Bitcoin. And that's why I'm still expecting here to see big continuations to the upside here before we're gonna get any kind of bigger washout or bigger sell-off below important supports. But therefore, we need to hold this $49,000. Otherwise, we could easily drop down towards forty dollars to $35,000, where also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up right now. So in the four hour time frame currently, we are still in a very critical point. I have currently a small long position opened since we got here a buy signal in three hour time frame. I opened up a little long position. I'm not very confident with this position because here we still can get heavily rejected. But if we are able to push higher here and go back in an uptrend, then of course uh, we could be sitting here in a very nice long entry. And then of course, if we are able to break the resistance, uh, we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside. 
but if you want to trade the safe way then wait until here in the four hour time frame we are back in an uptrend so that means that we have to close four hour candles at least above fifty five thousand dollar and even better above the resistance that we have currently here at fifty eight thousand dollar so we are only completely out of the woods once we are breaking also this resistance here of fifty eight thousand dollar so even though we could go back in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame the important thing is that we're starting to close four hour candles and even better daily candles again above $58,000. Then I think we are out of the woods from this correction here and we will head towards way higher levels. But as long as we are trading below this important resistance up here, I think the momentum is still clearly shifted to the downside. Maybe also sideways here before then we're going to see a clear move to the upside or also to the downside if we're going to drop below $49,000. And if we go now over into the daily time frame, here you can see that for the moment we bounced exactly at the bottom of the EMA ribbons and also yesterday we closed above with the 50 daily moving average, which of course is bullish and now we are seeing this big bounce. But the problem is that we still have the 9 and 20 daily moving average now above of us. So this can still act as a resistance and these two moving averages are right here between $55,000 and $56,000. So even though right now we could see a breather, watch out for this resistance up here. If we are able to go back in an uptrend here in the daily, so if we are able to close daily candles above these two moving averages and also maybe get a buy signal here in my own indicator, then the likelihood of breaking out here to the upside will be way higher. So although the daily time frame, in my opinion, is still in a very critical point, we still need to wait for confirmations and of course also for breakouts here to the upside above this potential resistance. Until then, it's just too risky to open up longs right now. So if you want to trade the safe way, then wait until we're gonna start to close again four hour and daily candles above our resistances up here because until then there is still a very high risk that we could see a massive sell-off if we would lose here this $49,000 support and the other problem is that currently also here the rsi is now trading below the 50 level and we are touching right now the 50 area so that means if here we are getting rejected we will see some further continuation to the downside because we are still far away from being oversold here in the daily time frame but of course if we are able to recover here straight back up above the 50 level then of course we would have a lot of fuel left to go way way higher until we are back in overbought condition here in the daily time frame so if we are seeing this breakout now to the upside during the month of april then i will be very bullish for both months um, april and may at least for these two months and then it depends where we are going to next towards 75 to 100k then of course we also have to check again all the cycle top indicators because if all of them are flashing to sell then i think it's not bad to take out a little bit of profits if maybe during the summer we're gonna see somehow a bigger sell-off or anything like that that we can buy the dip but otherwise bitcoin is still looking very bullish here for the long term and sooner or later we will see here continuation to the upside and we can also have a look here into the weekly time frame because as you can see here, the nine weekly moving average is exactly here at 49,400, exactly where the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement is lining up. And this important weekly moving average was always a very strong support during our bull market. And also in the past, it acted always as a very strong support. And every time we lost this nine weekly moving average, Bitcoin dropped down towards a 20 weekly moving average, but never below. And that's why I think for the worst case scenario that we're going to lose this $49,000 as a support, there is a very high chance that we could drop towards a 20 weekly moving average. And this one is right here at $36,000. Next week, this moving average will be higher. So we, every week that is passing here, this moving average is coming higher and higher. And that, of course, is very bullish because in that case, if we would see somehow a sell-off, I think we wouldn't fall that much, especially if this moving average in the next coming weeks will be above 40K. This will be very, very bullish for the Bitcoin price, especially for this bull cycle that we are in right now. And of course, also for the long term, because not only here, the 20 weekly moving average is rising up, but also the 200 weekly which is currently here at $10,600 
So Bitcoin usually even during a huge bear market never drops below the 200 weekly moving average. So that means that we most likely never gonna see again Bitcoin below $10,000 because the 200 weekly moving average is also rising here week by week and next week of course it will be most likely here somewhere around $12,000. So here in the bigger time frames, my friends, Bitcoin is still looking very bullish, even though, of course, there is a high risk right now that we could even drop towards this important support that we have currently here at around $36,000. But I would definitely not sell anything right now just to hope that you maybe can buy in again here at $36,000 because as long as we are trading here above the nine weekly moving average there is nothing to concern about that we could go down to these levels unless of course we're gonna lose this support currently here at $49,000. So in my opinion if we're gonna see the lower time frames turning back into an uptrend we most likely gonna see big fireworks to the upside and you definitely don't want to miss out and sell right now just to hope that you're able to buy cheaper in if we are crashing down then somehow just buy more bitcoin just accumulate more because for the long term we are anyway going higher but just taking profits right now because you think that maybe it can go down to 40k i wouldn't risk that my friends it's just not worth to freak out because of that because if bitcoin is starting suddenly here to pump like crazy you will be buying at a higher price back in and like that of course you lose money so my advice to you of course is not a financial advice but i'm just sharing what i am doing at those prices i wouldn't sell anything just because you hope that you can buy in cheaper if it happens if somehow we're gonna already here go down towards 40k then just buy more bitcoin with fresh fiat because for the long term anyway we're going to way higher levels and in my opinion it's just not worth the risk right now to take out profits than to hope that you can buy in cheaper in later and now let's go over into the ethereum price because ethereum is still struggling here to go back in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame we got supported here at this important support level here of 1580 but as long as we're trading below 1670 and also below the ema ribbons here in the four hour time frame we are still in a downtrend here and as long as we're closing four hour candles below here i think we still have some room to go lower or maybe trade sideways here because if this support is getting lost then the next one would be down here at around 1470 but if ethereum is able to go again above 1670 i think it is very likely that also here we're gonna take out this resistance this huge resistance that we have here because previously all detected as a strong support then also here i think we're gonna see very soon new all-time highs but everything is depending currently from bitcoin and what bitcoin is doing and now let's go over to the DXY, my friends, because here we have some bad news. Yesterday, we had a daily close above the 200 daily moving average and the DXY continues to pump. Very soon, we most likely gonna see here a retest of the 200 daily moving average at around $92.50. And since currently we are still pumping and we are trading above the EMA ribbons and also money flow is back in green now, I think there is a very high chance that here we're gonna see follow through to the upside which of course can be dangerous for the crypto market and also for the spot market but that doesn't mean that we have to crash bitcoin can still go to way higher levels even though the dxy is pumping but of course it would be even more bullish and more explosive the moves to the upside if the dxy would continue to fall here so in the daily time frame we are still in an uptrend and since now we are closing daily candles above the 200 daily moving average there is a very high risk that here we're gonna see follow through to the upside so this is looking like a potential bottom for the dxy and there is a high chance now of course that we could see follow through to the upside if here in the next coming days we are not falling again below the 200 daily moving average so in my opinion we're gonna have to see what will happen next week and of course also april and may here with the dxy because if here we're gonna continue to pump that of course is a dangerous for the crypto market and also for the stock market and speaking about stock market let's go over to nasdaq because nasdaq is in a very critical point we are still trading here below all the important moving averages you can see here the 20 daily and 9 daily moving average right here inside the ema ribbons 
and this is now pressing the price down to the support that we have currently here at the 100 daily moving average at $12,760. So as soon as this support is getting lost, I'm afraid that here we could easily fall again towards this 12,280 support that we had here and then most likely also go lower and create lower highs and lower lows here in NASDAQ and that of course is quite bearish. So if Nasdaq is not able to start to close again daily candles above the EMA ribbons and of course above these two important moving averages, I'm afraid that we could easily fall down towards a 200 daily moving average here, $12,000. And that of course could be also bearish for the crypto market. So I think at least during this month of March, we're gonna see some more moves to the downside overall the assets in the crypto market and also in the stock market. But once we have passed this bearish month of March, in my opinion, April and May are going to be very bullish months for the stock market and also for the crypto market. So let's hope that here in Nasdaq also we are able to recover straight back up and that here we are not seeing a big huge crash because that could affect also the crypto market. So the conclusion for Bitcoin in this video, my friends, is that here in the lower time frames, we could see a nice breather to the upside here to maybe retest here this 55 to $58,000 resistance that we still have. We are not out of the woods yet. Only once this resistance here is broken, I think then we're gonna go towards new all time highs. But as long as we are within this pattern here and also in a downtrend here in the four hour time frame, it's more likelier that we're gonna trade sideways here or even go lower towards this target that we still have here at around $49,000. And this will tell if we are able to then have a big bounce to the upside or if we're gonna see here one last big sell off maybe down towards the 20 weekly moving average to then have a big bounce to the upside and continue our bull market. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. A big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to join us here in Discord, then use the official link that you find down below here in the description. With this link, you can get easily access to our crypto trading chat. You just have to click on this invitation link and then you go here to read first. You have to click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. And like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you have to send me a private message here in Discord because a small donation is needed in order to get access to this indicator. Otherwise, you can also use here the YouTube message membership like this you also get free access to my discord trading chat after getting a member here you just have to contact me over on discord and of course also check out all my referral links down below here to the recommended exchanges where to buy bitcoin where to trade bitcoin and altcoins those are the same that i'm also using so i very much recommend you to use bybit and femex to trade bitcoin and altcoins with leverage so if you want an account over here then use my referral links to get also some extra bonus and of course also support the channel and if you just want to buy and hodl bitcoin then use swissborg binance and coinbase those are the ones that i'm also using and with my referral links you will get extra money with your first purchase so if you like the content my friends make sure to smash that like button over here subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>